Hello friends, this is Moksha and Rakshita. We are here to demonstrate our mini project on FIST registration system under the guidance of Professor Abhishek S. Rao, Assistant Professor, NMEM Institute of Technology. This system is used to register the students who wants to participate in the college FIST. So once the student has been registered, each student will be given with the participation ID that is PID so that the students can use that PID to participate in any number of events that they are interested in. This is the schema diagram of first registration system. Here, student, registration, event, college, fees are the entities. Student has the attributes USN, name, phone, address, branch, course, gender where USN is considered as the primary key of student. Registration has PID, registration date, USN whereas uh, USN is the foreign key that is derived from student and PID is the primary key of registration. Event has the attributes USN, event name. USN is the foreign key of uh, that is derived from student. College has USN and college name as the attributes where uh, USN is the primary key. Fees has PID, fee date and fee where uh, PID is considered as the primary key. This is the ER diagram of FIST registration system. As I have mentioned earlier, student, registration, college, events, fees are the entities and student has uh, USN, name, course, gender, address which is composite attribute and phone that is multi-valued attribute. So registration has PID, registration date, college has college name, fees has pay date, event has event name. Next we will see the relationship between the entities. So college has student, has is the relationship between college and student. Student manages event. Manages is the relationship between student and event. Student manages registration. And once the student has been registered, he has to pay the fees. The next one is cardinality ratio. One college may have many students. So the cardinality ratio will be 1 is to m. And one student can manage many events. So the cardinality ratio is 1 is to n. And one student can be registered only once, so the cardinality ratio is 1 is to 1. And once the student has been registered, he has to pay the fees only once, so the cardinality ratio is 1 is to 1. This is the front page of our uh, project. So here you can see two logos that is Facebook logo and Instagram logo. If you click on to Facebook logo, then it goes to Facebook page of Incredia. If you click on to Instagram logo, then it goes to Instagram page of Incredia. And uh, here there is a little information about Ingridia and there are few names of events and this is about our college so if you click on to this link then it goes to college website. So this is the registration page so if you don't uh, give any name and if you click on submit form then it asks for the field and if you want to reset the page then you can click reset now i'll give uh, some random names And here you can give the event name, any number of event name. So if you click on to submit form, then it gives the PID of the student who has been registered. And with this PID, we can participate in any number of events.
So once uh, we give the information in this registration form, it goes to the database and it will be stored. So to create the database, we used phpMyAdmin and first is the database name and we have student to hold the details of the student. So these are the students who has been registered and uh, all the details will be stored over here. And next we have registration table and here uh, the students USN and PID will be stored. Next we have a college table. Uh, the student uh, from which college he is will be stored. And next we have event table. The USN of the student along with the uh, event will be stored. Then we have fees table. PID and uh, fee and fee date will be stored. Next we'll see about the database creation. So this is a code to create the uh, table. So here we gave create table and student. Student is a table name that we have taken. And inside the bracket we have to give all the attributes along with their data types. So for example, USN is an uh, attribute of student. So USN along with its data type that is where care has to be mentioned. And USN we considered it as primary key. So we give primary key in front of the attribute name. So in the same way we have created table college and event registration and fees. Once the student has been registered then we can see the details of the students in the page registered students. So here are the details of the students been registered along with their PIDs. To display this uh, details we used view. So this is the view which has USN name, college name, event, PID, registration date and fee. To create a view we use create view view name and inside that we can write the select statement so here we need usn name college name event pid registration date and fee so we collect all these details from the corresponding table so usn will be collected from student and uh, name will be collected from student and college name will be collected from college and event will be collected from event and PID will be collected from uh, uh, registration, registration date will be collected from registration and fee will be collected from fees table. So after this we need to join all this table. And along with the details of the student we also have the total amount that is being collected. So to calculate this we used a stored procedure and the name of the stored procedure is total sum. To implement this stored procedure, we write create procedure, procedure name that is total sum and inside that we write the query. So here we need to calculate the sum of the fees. So we just write select sum of fee from fees table. So this is nothing but our mini project. So thank you.